we're going to talk a little bit about uh, not a little bit but a little uh, big times about the visa bulletin and uh, as you can see here the visa bulletin for June 2016 it, it was out last week and I didn't have a chance to really kind of comment on it but today I'm going to comment on it it's really bad for India very very bad India even China is not that bad but China seems to the EB2 and EB3 and we're going to talk mostly about employment base here and uh, as you can see China is kind of similar for EB2 and EB3 as for other countries uh, it seems like they're moving pretty well in fact even EB3 is almost current and uh, if you look at the chart of the processing time I'm not talking here about the acceptance time as you know there are two charts that goes in the visa built-in now and again I'm, sp I'm talking about the visa built-in June 2016 where we were expecting at least a movement forward for India but guess what to our surprise it went a big retrogression uh, we were not expecting a retrogression at least we were expecting maybe something uh, stagnant status quo but it moved four years behind and this is really bad it's almost the same now as the EB3 for India so Folks, I know a lot of people now are totally frustrated. They have no clue what is happening. Some people are calling it even the Trump effect, and it won't surprise me if that's the case. And of course, the acceptance dates has pretty much stayed the same, July 2009. That means you can still file if you are in that category. But at the end of the day, people who are hoping to get their green card this month or next month um, are going to be uh, left behind. So now. For for those who think that their dates are current right now and there are some documents missing, make sure that you are supplying all the documents ASAP, hoping that your green card will be issued before the dates retrogress. I repeat that, before the dates retrogress, if you have a chance to, you are in the game, make sure that the RFE or anything that they are requesting, you supply, you supply it, including your medical reports, you have another three weeks uh, if you are within the 2008 group. Um, Bottom line here: What are you? Ex what are we expecting? We don't know anymore. To be honest, it's it's, it's really hard to predict because it's moving back. When it moves back, <clears throat> two things happens when it moves back. One, we see oftentimes when it moves back for a couple of months, we see suddenly a move forward. The other thing is just because it's an election year, things are going really not according to plans right now and we might be expecting uh, unfortunately a, a backward movement for a while until the next fiscal year which is October 1st. So it moved actually to the fiscal year 2004 which is really um, bad. It's been like it's not it's not been like that on EB2 for years now we are talking about I've never seen it for almost seven years I think and uh, it's really frustrating but we need to keep on the fight and hope that because you never know with those visa built-in you might see a jump next month so let us hope things are going to get better but until then for India right now is bad news as for family base it seems like it's moving at the normal pace I didn't see any sudden movement backward unless I'm mistaken but I've been focusing on the the EB2 and India is really like uh, like someone was saying a couple of days ago it's a Trump effect it seems uh, and the whole system is crumbling so over us right now so let us hope and people need to keep pushing to move those visa built in especially for India and we have petitions online etc so please sign them and ultimately uh, we hope that we will see a movement before the new fiscal year of this year which is the next fiscal year 2017 starting on October 1st but until then it's backward and for those who have a chance to make it this month just go ahead don't waste your time I wish you all best of luck this is again a video from sharp attorney sharp rally from Newark California dealing in immigration law and debt settlement and if you need help with any of your immigration matter whether it's h1b l1 uh, eb1 eb2 eb3 please give us a call 510-742-58 87 anything I'm telling you today is for educational purposes only we should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided and uh